Hi, Jennifer Stroman here, and we are going to be talking about selling yourself. Okay, maybe not like that, but whenever you come into this industry, there's one thing that you need to know right from the get-go, and that is people buy people. People do not buy products. People buy people. And what do I mean by that? You can buy a product anywhere, right? You can go and get weight loss or, or hair stuff or lashes somewhere else, but whenever you are in direct sales or network marketing, people are looking for the relationship. People want to join those that they have a relationship with. So people buy people. And if they don't know you, they're not going to invest in you. And it's so important to know that early on. So remember, people buy people, okay? So whenever you are getting ready to sell yourself, one of the first things that you have to do is get your Facebook profile or your social media profiles ready, spit and span, looking good. There's another training on that. But you have to make sure that you ask yourself, why would someone join me? Why would someone want to purchase from me? Why, why would they choose me? What about me is so special? Because we all are very special and we all are very unique. And why your friends follow you or why your friends are friends with you is a really important thing to know. Why are people flocking to you? What do they gravitate to? You need to know that ahead of time so you know how to react to this question. Why would someone buy from you? Why would someone join you? So here's the thing. If you were to look at yourself, look at your profile, look at you in life, what is it that stands out? What is it that they that people like about you? You need to be able to prepare yourself to get out there because you are selling yourself. And if people don't know you, then you're not actually putting yourself out there. Now, I'm not talking about airing your dirty laundry. What I'm talking about is letting them in on little pieces of your life so they know you. That's where the branding comes in. What are your colors that you like? What are things that you enjoy doing? Those things are all important in selling yourself, but I really want you to tap into what is it that makes you different? What sets you apart from others? What do you have to offer? Because ultimately, that's what it's going to come down to. So maybe you haven't been in the industry forever. Maybe you don't know how to train someone. Maybe you're not good at mentoring. Maybe you don't know all the products. Whatever, even you, you can make a long list of things that you don't, can't, won't do. But what you need to be doing is make a list of the things that you can, that you will, and that you plan on doing. So if you are really good at patting people on the back, you can actually put that out there. You are supportive and make sure that you emphasize that because you want to attract people who need that in their lives. That way you're giving them supportiveness and they are gaining that support. And that's, that's a give or take, right? But Understand that there's a million products out there. <laughs> there's so many makeup companies out there. There's so many health and wellness. There's so many legging companies now. Anybody can go to any place and buy. And anybody can go and pay $2 versus the $10 or the $10 versus the $100. The reason people pay more is because of quality, because of what they're getting with that product. What, what people don't understand is if you go to a jewelry store and okay, we'll go to Walmart. We're gonna go to Walmart and get us a necklace. It might come in a little red box or blue box or something and whatever, okay? So you go and you pick out this necklace, you're there for five minutes, 10 minutes. You may or may not have somebody walk up and help you, right? Now, shift gears, let's go to Tiffany and Company. Let's go to New York City and go into Tiffany and Company. Anytime I walk in there, someone immediately comes to me, asks if I need help, and then I've had personal shopper. I've had a personal shopper who walked me around the entire store picking out the perfect item for the perfect person, and not only that, they gave me a water, they wanted to see if I needed anything to eat because they had these snacks, they wanted to make sure I was taken care of, then when it came time to pay, they treated me like I was gold. They had the gift wrapped, they put it in a bag, they had separate area for a receipt for gift and a receipt for myself, and they went on and on about you know, how wonderful it was that I was purchasing from them. Y'all, this is Tiffany and Company. Shouldn't I be the one like, oh, yeah, like I'm purchasing a Tiffany and Company in New York City. No, they catered to me. They treated me well. So when you, yes, Walmart's cheaper, 
yes, I could, well, I would have never been able to get the piece that I was looking for, but I could get something else, right? And it's cheaper and it's easier. But the reason I went with Tiffany and company for that particular gift is because of their prestige, because of their the way that they treat their customers because of their mannerisms. There was a reason I chose that store and it's the same thing with you. You are your storefront. You are the Tiffany and company. So treat yourself like you are the Tiffany and company. Hold yourself accountable and keep yourself looking good. If you get on Facebook or any other social media and you're very negative, you're going to basically knock down your image. If you're on social media and you're uplifting people and maybe you, you're throwing some truth bombs in there, but you're very stuck on your ways and you have a particular way that you like operate on a daily, you have the integrity, maybe you always love to have inspirational stuff, maybe you really don't like bullies, whatever you're standing for, hold on to that. And when people buy from you, appreciate them. Now, I am not saying give every customer a gift or anything like that, but what I'm saying is appreciate them. If they are repeat customers, make sure that you're sending them thank you cards or you know, if they've been a customer for your of yours for a while, maybe send them a free gift. There are things that you can do to make sure that the customers feel appreciated. Just like Tiffany and company, they send emails all the time of promotions and different things and oh, for, since you were a past customer, you get this percentage off, they appreciate me. I've never gotten that from Walmart from walking in and picking up a piece of jewelry. So think about the way that you are handling your business as being a store front and start selling yourself.